hello guys it's so good to be back here again thank you so much for tuning in i really appreciate you thank you for your love and your support it's been awesome and wonderful to be here and we are here to give you the most trending exciting reliable and authentic happenings yes it's a great time an exciting moment always yeah, and of course uh, it is not done with the Edo state election because apc in a state writes letter to obaseki and explain what their loss meant and do that it was due to a lot of things that is why they lost but of course i don't think that is necessary to actually write to uh, governor gordon obaseki because that is their headache and they know why they lost but I think majorly what they should send to him is congratulatory messages and not uh, how they lost the election to Obaseki. Anyway, guys, I'll bring you details of this shortly. But before then, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please ensure you hit the subscribe button immediately and also give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell because that is the best way you get notified anytime we drop a new video okay guys let us dive right in and hear what apc had to say and what was contained in the letter that was written to godwin obaseki and the people's democratic party pdp yes yeah, just after edo state governor his excellency governor godwin obaseki received a certificate of return from INEC along with his deputy philip shaibu the leadership of the apc in edo state have written to congratulate him and his deputy Obaseki and Shaibu got issued their return certificate yesterday and uh, of course according to the letter the entire election process was free fair and credible Obaseki and APC state chairman of Edo and the letter which was signed by the state chairman of the party barrister Anslem or Jesua said among other things that the loss of APC during the election was due to the leadership crisis which rocked the party and majorly due to the selfish and irresponsible attitude of the leadership hierarchy. He further asked everyone involved in the election to shield their swords because election was now over and it was time to concentrate on the enormous tax ahead for the governor and his deputy which he said will be the best interest of the people of Edo State. Recall that Godwin Obaseki was initially in the APC but was disqualified from running for the ticket of the party which prompted his decamping to the People's Democratic Party, PDP, where he became the flag bearer and eventual winner of the election. And right here what was contained in the later reads that we joined President Muhammad Buhari and National Caretaker Committee of our great party to congratulate Governor Godwin Obaseki and his deputy right honorable Philip Shaibu for their victory at the just concluded governorship election in Edo State. The election has been generally acclaimed to be peaceful, orderly and transparent. The people of Edo State have made their choice in a very clear and unambiguous manner. Our loss at the polls stems from the needles and avoidable crisis foisted on the party by a selfish insensitive arrogant and irresponsible leadership while we begin to take steps to try and salvage the well-being of our party in the state we call on the governor to be magnanimous in victory while we urge all those who contested to sheet their sword and put the elections behind us we must all and close ranks with the governor with the government in order to ensure a seamless transition to the final lap of governance in the state without being subjected to any further needles, distraction, and rancor. The establishment of a robust infrastructure base to guarantee economic growth at this critical time must be paramount consideration and in the best interest of the good people of Edo State. And that letter was signed by Anslem Ojezua, Esquire State Chairman of the All Progressive Congress, APC. And uh, guys, that was from Anslem Ojezua and the, all the people of the All Progressive Congress, APC, in Edo State, all were congratulating Godwin Obaseki. And of course, they explained how they have failed this election. Well, it is 
uh, the deal has been done and I think it's time to move ahead and move forward and see what uh, the, the uh, see what uh, the future holds for the party because of course we've seen Nigerians how they've been reacting to APC and saying that uh, they are no longer interested in the party that they are not sure that uh, if any election is won in it in Nigeria that uh, if APC win any election in Nigeria that means that election is not free fair and credible is it that Nigerians have given up totally on APC well I don't know about that and if you look critically well at the Ondo state election we still have other parties but everyone is still considering the all progressive congress and why is that because some of them and most people in uh, on those states are already feeling that uh, they don't have any other credible candidates and they still feel that the governor uh, is still the best candidate instead of picking any other candidates in Ondo State. So definitely there's still chances for the All Progressive Congress. It's now boils down to the individual and not party anymore. And I love what Nigerians are doing today because Nigerians are making everyone so proud and it's such an impressive way of, you know, behaving. Ondo State is such a good example where you see people rejecting money and going for their consciences and believing that there is a better way things can be done in Nigeria. So impressive. I love it that people even at the Akara that APC made, but yet they still voted the People's Democratic Party. Yes, it is time for Nigerians to forget about party and begin to vote individuals. Enough is enough from the uh, All Progressive Congress and even the PDP were just managing all these parties but i think they are more credible people they are more credible candidates that should face it and you know understand that and understand the cries of the people because it seems the people we have uh, in politics today are just concerned majorly about their pockets and what they want to eat so nigerians should rather look into all of this and believe that it is better to vote personality than voting for a party because a, pa a party is popular or it seems they have more uh, strength or power to make things happen so guys from here that is it uh, we hope that uh, as uh, apc are ready to work with obaseki they will do it with a whole of their heart and also put their mind to it and ensure that the state move forward and we hope they don't become a stumbling block to the progress of God in Obaseki and, and the people of Edo State. So guys, thank you so much for listening. I really appreciate you. If you have anything to say, please drop it in the comment section. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for staying tuned. I really do appreciate you. Do have a pleasant time. Bye for now.